Hello everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to go ahead and explore again with this double weight cotton card panels. I had a comment on my uh, video that I did with it to take a shim out and you know I have to admit guys I totally forgot that there were shims in here. Completely forgot that there were shims but yes it makes complete sense to take a shim out. So I wanted to try um, I want to do some work with this beautiful mirrored arch blooms uh, die that or press plate that my friend Jeanette sent me and let's go ahead and take out a shim. I don't have anything uh, created we're just doing this on the fly just us and here we go so let's see what we get so here's my card panel and you can see it is very thick it is double the thickness of um, any of the other ones it really is and wow it is just like very very nice honest very very nice cardstock but I do want to get a good impression and it seemed to have popped really well going through my machine uh, so let's just see what we can do here I'm gonna put this into the A2 uh, slots here where my better press plates go just like that I'm gonna add this right here in the center and we'll probably cut that down a little bit and I'm wondering how it cuts. I haven't even tried to cut it, you know? So we're just we're just doing this together. I want to watercolor this today, actually. I think my last card I did, um, let me show you. This came out stunning. Uh, I glimmered. Remember, our better press plates for Spellbinders glimmer. But the glimmer plates do not better press. Always remember that. I am an affiliate. Please click on any of the links below when you do that and place an order I receive a small commission that's at no cost to you and thank you for all your support I appreciate it but isn't this beautiful what a gorgeous card look at that look at the detail I love the way the better press plates glimmer I really really do okay so let's see what we can accomplish here and I don't think I need to put that in the middle yeah I think I'm okay with um, with taping these off on the edges I want to use some black. Oh, I'm also, I'm waiting for, it's already shipped. I got the LDRS cleaner coming. So I'm anxious to use that on my better press plates. I've heard people say wonderful things about it. Not that I'm having a bad time with the archival ink cleaner, but um, it is a little oily. And as you know, when I opened the bottle, I spilt three-fourths of it. So, you know, I just thought <laughs> that I would. I'm telling you guys, I am a bull in a china shop at times. Can't help it. It is just me. So let's go ahead and pounce, press, and um, I rub a little bit. I know they say not to, but I do. Just like that. Let's see. And so, okay, I have one shim out. Let's see how we go here. Let's do that. Move things out of the way. Always remember when you pick this up, pick it from underneath because this is spring loaded and you don't want to press it into that plate sooner than what you need to, you know. So let me go ahead and pick it up underneath and let's feed this through. Remember, one shim is out. I'm going to go slow. Oh, that's a lot better, guys. A lot better. Thank you so much for helping. I, I love your all's comments. I love that. I love that um, everyone that watches me, um, you all are just so wonderful to me. Uh, and then I have a crafty friend that lives real close to me. She was like, I think you need to take a shim out. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. Wow, that is beautiful. Let me get my tape off of here. Well, now this really pressed, honest to goodness, that pressed better. Look at that. Can you see that impression in there? The impression is stunning. That's amazing and so crisp. Isn't that crisp? I love that. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, honestly, I want to put that in the trimmer and I want to trim it down, but who knows how that's going to go, right? Because that's thick. Oh, you know what? I might put in my guillotine instead of my trimmer. 
I have like a little mini guillotine from, what is it, uh, We Are Memory Keepers. I like to clean these plates immediately to get this ink off. It is a thicker ink. So I seem to be having quite good luck with it, you know. Okay, let me do this. You might hear me talk a second in the background here because I'm uploading a video for... I have a lot of things releasing after the 10th. Many, many, many things, actually. I have all of my work done. I finally finished all of that today. But now I'm into doing all the videos of it. So that made me feel good to get all my work done. You know, like they ask you um, uh, if you get so many products to make so many cards, that kind of thing. So that's uh, what Spellbinders asks of you, and which is great, you know. So I have a lot of fun doing that. So let me bring this in. And I think maybe this might be a better choice than the... Um, wow, that is thick than, you know, the rotary cutter, or the trimmer, actually. It's a trimmer, not a rotary cutter. If you have um, that rotary cutter, that might be a good thing for this, because that's supposed to really chomp through stuff, too. But you really need something to chomp through it. There we go. Let me get this up here. I don't want to cut that off. I might just leave that, right? Let me see if I could just take a little slice off of this side. Let's see, what do we need to get to? Four and a quarter. Am I at five and a half? Oh, I am. I'm at four and a quarter by five and a half. I think I might just leave it just like that, right? Because if I'm already at that dimension, that would be great. But this worked quite well. I'll list it below for you. Um, I get that at scrapbook.com. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Let me get my watercolors out. Okay. So I have my new set here. These are so nice. These Distress watercolor uh, pencils. And um, these are from Ranger Ink. Or whatever. These are Tim Holtz, right? And I just have been using these a lot and really learning with them. So just bear with me. Um, I'm going to start with this Broken China. It's a light blue. We're going to do this flower right here. I have a little aqua painter here. Um, and I'll list the ones that Spellbinders has below for you. So let's just see. I'm going to add color to the center like this of this flower. I'd like to get all the sets of these colors. Th these are really easy to use and I have not had trouble with them at all. But I'm learning, okay? So I'm new at it very new at it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of water here and I'm going to push that color up into this paper. Oh wow, that does work quite well. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Now if you didn't want to move the color all the way up into the paper you would start at the top with just clear and then work your way down. But I want the whole flower colored because I think it would be pretty. Look at that. Well, I'm impressed. The more I use... Now, you could just use a, a, you know, a brush with water on it. I just thought I'd try this technique. Well... Wow. See, like I said, I am learning, okay? So this is a big learning curve for me. Um, and it is absolutely outside of my comfort zone of crafting. How pretty pretty is that? You know, because usually I'm like color all the way. And this is like leaving some lighter color to the outside, darker color to the inside. And that's a little different for me. But I'm doing it. At least I think I'm doing it. <laughs> you might be like, you're not doing it. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm doing it. Just humor me. Look how 
pretty that is. Oh my. Okay, so I really like that. So then I'm just going to come out here a little bit and I'm going to put down a little bit more color with my pencil here. I've used these a lot uh, with all the, the new releases that are coming out after the 10th or on the 10th and, and so forth. I'm going to make this flower blue. I am just amazed. And you see, I'm really not taking pains with this, which maybe I should, I don't know. Um, but I'm just kind of laying down a little bit of this color in here. Make those outer petals a little bit darker, I think, right? Let's try that. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? It's just pushing color. Well, look at that. Ooh, look how pretty. Wow, this paper is amazing. How's that looking? I think it looks pretty good. I think I'd like a little bit more though over here. You know, I don't want to get my paper too wet. I do, I could use a drier brush and bring that up into it, maybe. Maybe not. Let's just keep going here. And this takes time. You know, this is not something that we're just, you know, putting down some die cuts or anything like that. I just want to try to stay in my lines the best I can. Not adding too much water, or trying not to, but just enough to move that color. I watch these videos all the time and they make it look so easy, you know, but I'm telling you what, when you get your hands on it, it's not that easy, you know. Okay. I think I might just leave that one alone. I like it. So now, let, let's see how we do with the little greenery here. Let's use this darker green. Forest moss. Let's see. Well, that, that might should be brown, right? That looks like a stick. I have a brown. Brushed corduroy. Let's do that. Let's do brush corduroy in here. There were uh, there was a card that I did a little bit ago. You'll see it on a video coming up. Um, but I just colored with these pencils and I didn't even put any water to it. I just liked it the way it was. I was like, wow, that looks great. Ooh, let's get that blue off of there, right? Okay, I cleaned the blue off. We'll just add a little bit of water to that. Well, that really looks nice. Well, I'm impressed. Let's get that green out. Because here's a little bit of green right here. And I'm going to say that this is green. That's green. Just like that. Wow. I want every single set that he has. This is set number six. Oh, wow. I love that. Ooh. Okay. Let's do this flower here. Well, let's do the center of this flower. Um, I think I'll use some orange for this center. Maybe I'll make all of them orange in the center, right? And let's just add a little water to it. Oh my. Oh, I just love that. Let's do this over here. This is a perfect set to learn on. 
Thank you so much, Jeanette. Perfect set. Because there's greenery, there's sticks, there's flowers, you know, just a really big array of everything. And I think this will be fantastic for me to learn on. I want to use a little purple on this flower. Make this one purple. And guys, I don't know, you know, I don't know about shading and this and that, but I'll tell you what, this better press, it is in there. It is pressed in there. I can feel it. Like when I move from petal to petal, there's an indentation where that black is. Let me bring some out here, and then we'll just add the water to it. And honestly, I know not of what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> You're just with me on this journey. I said it was my crafting journey. So let's see where we get with adding a little water to that. I'll tell you what, let's use, um, hang on, let me use my brush just because I just want to show you, you don't have to have the aqua thing, okay? Let's just use a little water right here and just a paintbrush, okay? Because this is really the way that I'm used to watercoloring and they both, honest to goodness, they both work fantastically. I'll just say that right off. Look at that. It's so pretty. So either or. Use what you have. If you'd like to try the Spellbinders aqua, you know, water um, brushes, you can. Or again, the old traditional paintbrush water and these colors are beautiful. These watercolor pencils are gorgeous. I'm very happy with my result on both of them. I'll say that. I just thought I'd turn the camera on while I did this. Instead of making two cards, I thought, let me just turn the camera on. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. That is part of this one, right? Okay, so this, I just want to move that out a little bit. And let's put a little bit of corduroy, or the, what is this called? Dusty Concord. Makes me think of grapes. Let's do that. A little water. How pretty is that? I want like a, I want a pink right there. Right here I want pink. I'm going to color the whole thing. Oh, before it's over with, I'll have every single one of these out, right? <laughs> Let me clean my brush off on my little cloth over there. And then we'll just push this color around. Very nice. And let's use a little green. Let's see, brush corduroy. That's We need forest moss. I'm going to do that here. Wow, taking that shim out was the way to go. The way to go. I have to remember that. I totally forgot. Honest. I have to be just a, like, I wasn't even thinking about the thickness of the paper and that there were shims in there. Look at how cute that is. That's adorable. Look how nice that's coming. Okay. Um, just not to, you know, keep you here for hours um, coloring. I'm going to break away, color, and I'll be right back.
Okay, I have finished coloring. It only took me like another 15-20 minutes to get this done. And I was looking through my sentiments. Just to let you guys know, I got an email that these are back in stock, the small trays uh, from scrapbook.com. I absolutely love this to keep my sentiments in. Let's see, I was doing, send. I was picking one out. Sending hugs, you're a great friend. Let me look through there. Wow, that's nice. Sending hugs is nice in blue. I kind of like that in blue, right? I don't think I have a you're a great friend in blue. I think I've used all those up. And I like the reverse foil on it so that we see a little bit more of the foil on that. Just trying to use the sentiments I already have. You know, here's a pink one sending hugs, like a reddish colored. Oh, that's nice too. I really think I think I like you're a great friend. And this is in blush, I believe. Yes, we're going to do that. Okay. So I love these little trays. Look at this. And then I have my lid here. And I have all my little tools on the top one. So this came in a set of four. I'll link some below for you. If you want to mess around with that. I, I really like them. This is wonderful. I had so much fun. Look at how pretty they came out. A great little time of coloring. I used purple here and blue here and then filled in and I love the greenery. Came out very nice. I think I'd like to, do I want to just sit this down? I think so because this is so thick. I don't know. Should we pop it up? Yeah, let's pop it up. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to use these little, uh, these are the double-sided adhesive shapes, uh, little round ones from scrapbook.com. And they're the, the little ones. These come in, like you could get assortment packs and all kinds of uh, shapes. Well, uh, sizes, I should say. There's like squares and round. And then they have you know, the small ones and the larger ones. I'll link something below for you guys that's like an assortment pack of it if you wanted to try them. Or you might already use them, you know, and need some more. So I'll just put a few of these around for us. I think a little dimension would be good. I'm going to uh, put this on some black cardstock. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. All right, um, usually I turn that little button off and I forgot on my phone, so that's okay. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and finish with our little dots here. And we'll put this on. And we've made a beautiful card this afternoon. Right here. Okay, love it. So here we go. Let me go like that. Just like that. That's pretty. Okay. All right, now my panel here is a five and a half by four and a quarter black, and I didn't want to cut this down anymore, so we're just going to have a very thin, thin, thin border of black around the outside to pick up the black that we did the better press with. I am really impressed with this. Thank you so much for telling me about taking that shim out. I'm just, I'm, I'm just really having fun. I'm <laughs> oh, bear with me. I know, humor me please. Oh my goodness. When something comes out this good, it's like, wow, wow. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I mean, like there's a eighth of an inch border around this entire card. Let me make sure I get it straight right there and then right here. Good. So pretty. Here's our base. We'll glue this on. Just like that. And here. And here. 
Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Okay, now let's put on some... Um, I love the crystal mix, so let's do that. We'll put some right here in the center, I believe. Let's see, this is a new pack. I even had added the ones I had left from my other pack. I just stuck them in here. Let's see, where could we put these? I'm going to put them in the center here, right? Because I want, oh, look at that color. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. So happy. This will start my weekend off fantastic, right? When you just get some videos done, I've got all my work done for Spellbinders, and just really wonderful. And let's do that. How's that? I love it. Okay, just a few of those to make a little sparkle, and we're happy. All right. Thanks again for watching, and thank you so much, guys, for your comments. I do. I read every one of them, and I listen to what you, you tell me. I really do. And um, thank you again for this beautiful mirrored arch blooms from my friend Jeanette, and I hope you enjoyed this card and my watercoloring. I'm getting better. I see, as, as, I, as I kept continuing, I, I think it came out better and better. So I just had fun doing it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.